So I've introduced you to Otto's bike. Here it is. Um, it's going to need a lot of going over. There's there's not a lot on it that that's working, but you can see that it's yeah it's fairly complete. Um, so I am just about oh fuel pump. Fuel pump was blocked absolute solid. You can see the um, the, the varnish and the tar and everything. That's vinegar. I've used it in fuel tanks before and I thought, ah, oh, I want something fairly gentle. So I filled the fuel pump with vinegar and it just cleared it out. Uh, and I didn't do it because I haven't got acetone or I haven't got carby cleaner or anything like that. I just wanted something fairly gentle um, that didn't bust it in any way. So yeah, I filled it full of vinegar and it was just jelly inside and overnight the vinegar just freed it up. So the fuel pump is now good. Uh, so I'll connect it up and see if we can get it running. Open the door a bit. Okay. Fuel pump's back on. Bike's connected up to an external battery. We've got an external fuel source and I just turned it, well I say I turned this on, I just connected the battery up two seconds ago and the first thing the fuel pump pump did, not surprisingly, was switch on and empty one of these uh, glass jars of fuel. So I know that the fuel pump's working. I know that it's corrected in the connected in the correct orientation. Um, so I think now the um, the ignition on this was stuffed. Uh, it was I think it was stolen at some point or other. Let's put the oh. Joke doesn't look like it wants to move. Never mind. That is on go. Let's give it a go. No, oh, no good sound. It's always worth a try then. Oh, something, maybe. Change the battery for a bike battery. Got some lights. The cold start mechanism there is stuck. I'm not going to go with aero start. I'm just going to give it a bit of a crank and see if it'll go. Okay. Cleaning time. So there's the throttle bodies um, obviously it reeks of petrol I've got loads of fuel leaks I've got the door open so that I'm not getting too buzzed out but yeah those throttle bodies are going to need cleaning and we'll take it from there all right tiny little um, injector cleaner rig that I've just thrown together in the workshop okay so I have got a common or garden fuel uh, foot pump just a just an air pressure pump okay and it's going out of there and then it's connecting to there and it's connecting all the way to the top of the injector pumped it up and I have got 25 psi in there and what I did is I filled and I'll show you this one okay so I filled the injector nozzle up with um, carbon cleaner and then I pressurized it and it's holding pressure so that's all good so now all I've got to do is energize said um, injector and it will come flying out see it Happy with that. So that injector's clean. Now, it could be cleaner. Uh, there could be all kinds of things that I could do, I'm sure. Um, but this one works, and this one doesn't involve me going out of the shed. Not that we're on lockdown or anything like that. Okay, but I know that it's clear. 
Okay, we'll do the same. I'll do it from the start. Hopefully you can see this. That tube is full. Let's pop that on. Because the system is Okay, let's see if you'll hold pressure. Okay, we've got 30 psi in there at the moment. 30 psi trying to force that carby cleaner through that injector. And now I'm going to energize it. Let's see if it opens. There we go. Can you see it? Okay, I am now happy that those injectors are clear. I'll stick them back on the bike. <laughs>